You don't want this asthma to get out of control. I'm just a little bit nervous about this too. This isn't good. She seems like she's not breathing well. Annabelle, Annabelle, are you okay? What's the matter with her? Let's all stop and pray for little Annabelle. What should I do? Hello, uh, hello. this is Renee, foster care center. Whoa, I can't believe it. That was the baby doll foster care center and they're bringing two more babies to our house right now. Um, I gotta get some things ready here. I don't know many details. I just know that it's a boy and a girl. So twins again. Here's a little boy outfit. Let's get this set up so that we have some clean clothes. If the babies come in similar shape that our last set of foster twins came in, they are dressed in rags. We've gotta have clean clothes for them. This is my newborn girl bin. I think there might be some newborn clothes in here that will work. Oh, yes. That's so cute. Okay, great. I've got the baby's clothes all ready and, well that was perfect timing because there's the doorbell. Let's go see if that's them. Goodness, they were they were just dropped off in a cardboard box. Uh, well, hi, babies. Well, let's carry these babies inside and check them out. Oh my goodness, you little babies are so precious. Wonder what your name is. This little guy, he's smaller than his sister. The lady that I spoke with on the phone did say that they are twins. Oh, it looks like there's something else in this box. You wee, that's so stinky. These babies will definitely need to get cleaned up. This is so stinky. But let's see what's at the bottom. Oh, Charles and Annabelle. That must be their name. I wonder what their story is. All these foster babies always have a unique story. We don't know how long we have them, but as long as we do, we'll love both of you. Whew, it is so stinky. Oh, I think they definitely need some new outfits. Oh, there's something else in here. Along with their birth certificate, there's an inhaler. It doesn't say anything on their birth certificate of what this is for. I wonder if it's for Charles or for Annabelle or for both of them. Or maybe it was just put in by accident. It's not for either of them. A mystery inhaler. Well, I'll just tuck this aside. We do need to take care of them. Well, one thing's for sure. We've got to get these babies washed up. These poor little things. We're gonna just take such good care of you while you're with us. I wonder why he's so much smaller. That's usually how twins are, I think. One's usually bigger and one's smaller. Okay. We're gonna take all these rags. They are so soiled. Throw it away with the box they came in. Okay, Annabelle, we'll take off your little rag that was on your head. I guess that was to keep her head warm or something. So stinky. Don't worry, Annabelle, we'll get you cleaned up. And you too, Charles. And we have such cute outfits to put you in. You'll smell amazing. Feels like he has a fever. And does Annabelle too? She totally does. Oh, Annabelle and Charles. Oh, they're just burning up. I'm gonna have to go get a thermometer and test their temperature. Here we go. Well, let's try your temperature first, Charles. Oh, poor little guy. Okay, there it goes. He sure does. Oh dear. I'm hoping that it's just teething because I guess they'd be probably around five months old or so. So we'll disinfect this, try Annabelle, and see if she has a fever also. Hey, little girl. There you go. Oh, you're such a sweetie. She's cheerful even if she does have a fever. She does too. Oh dear, well, they are not feeling well, 
but regardless of what they have, we have to get them washed up. So we'll, we'll stick them in the bath and then we'll try all our remedies in a little bit. But I wonder if they're just sick because they're so dirty. to get all fresh. I think they'll love their bath. Maybe it'll even help them feel better. Okay, let's turn some more water on. They're still burning up, but I think they're enjoying it. And Annabelle, she's just chilling over here. Charles is loving the water. You wanna fill this up? It's kind of fun, it drips out, doesn't it, Charles? This is what we love to do when we get new foster babies and is give them a really thorough wash. We don't know where they've been, what type of germs they have on them, and with the smell, I just don't know when the last time they had a bath was. Okay, babies, are you all washed up now? Come here, Charles. You don't mind a girl towel, do you? And now, Annabelle, here we go. Okay, time to go get dressed. Well, little babies, you smell so much better now. Yes, Annabelle, do you like your new outfit? You look so good in it. It sure does. They're so happy, but their fever is concerning to me. So I think I'm gonna try some different remedies to see if I can bring this fever down. So sometimes when we have a fever or are sick, we use honey, but you can't give honey to babies under 12 months old. Or sometimes we'll take extra vitamin C. But you can't give a lot of vitamin C to babies under six months old. Hmm. What can we do to help babies bring a fever down? It just might be teething, but then it might be something more serious. We need to get to the bottom of this. I think I may have found the solution. I'm going to be doing some hot and cold compresses on the baby. So here we go. We're gonna start and see if this brings down their fevers. Do you like those babies? Yeah. They're so sweet little babies. How are you doing, Charles? Okay, now it's time to change them. Here's our second one. Yeah, will this make it feel better? So it's been a little while since I started and we've done about six different washcloth changes with the hot and cool compresses. And so I think I'm gonna pull out the thermometer and just see how they're doing. Let's try you first, Annabelle. Can I have your passy? Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, she still has a fear, which doesn't surprise me because she's so hot still. Charles, let's try yours. Can I have your passy? Here you go. Oh, he does too. Okay, so I've got to kind of figure out what I'm going to do here. Um, with them still having a high fever. And I'm still wondering what that mystery inhaler was like. Was that for them? Is this related to something that, some issue that they have where they need that? Or is that just, whatever the case, tried all the remedies we know. And I always know that baby well drops help. So I'm gonna just go get some of those and give those to the babies. And hopefully that just takes care of the fever. I always keep my baby well drops in this drawer. Oh no. I forgot we ran out of them last week. That's okay, I know what I can do. I'll just call the Baby Doll Get Better call and only store that sells them. Um, I'll just call them and see if they have any in stock. Hopefully they do. Um, the babies really need to get those soon. Come on. Why is this not working? Is my phone broken? It is totally broken. I don't know what happened. Did you just hear that sound? It is totally broken. What am I gonna do? The baby doll get better is a call in place only. I can't even go visit them. Oh, Annabelle, it's gonna be okay. Okay, now I've gotta decide what I'm gonna do. I've gotta get those get well drops. It's okay, Annabelle. We'll think through this. Oh, do you remember? Oh, it's funny. Oh, I just hope we get to keep them forever, but we've got to get them feeling better. They're just, they're just burning up. Okay, do you remember Johnny Spark? I wonder if I go visit him. Obviously, I can't call him, but he doesn't work too far away. Let's go over there and see if, if he can help us fix our phone, or we might just need to get a new phone. But come on, babies, we need to go to Johnny Spark and see if, if he can help us fix our broken phone. Oh, it looks 
like he's closed. Oh, I'm so bummed. We really need help fixing our phone so we can we can call the center to get their drops. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, yep, he's closed for sure. Well, if I can't get my phone fixed by Johnny Spark, there might be one place that would have a phone for sale today. Oh, that's lost. Here, let me put it outside. This needs to wander my little baby a little bit. Perfect. Wonder if I can sell the last few things today. I wonder where the next customer will be. not Granny Pumpkin. It's more serious. Well, what is it? Well, you see Granny Pumpkin, we have some new twins that the foster care center just dropped off to us and they're burning up with a fever. Oh my! They burn it up like Timot too. I know Granny Pumpkin, that's the problem. I think they might be dating, but I don't know if they might have a disease or something. But here's the problem. I can't call to get baby well drops. Because my phone is broken. You don't happen to have another phone for sale, do you? <clears throat> well, this is all I have for sale today, darling. Oh, Granny Pumpkin, are you sure? We need help. We don't want the twins to get even worse. I need a call so we can get their drops so that they can feel better. Well, come on, I got this. Save some stock for tomorrow. Oh, don't cry, baby. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Seeing this baby cry breaks my heart. So, to be honest, I did have a phone was tomorrow that was going to be for sale. Oh, really, Granny Pumpkin? Is there any way you'd sell it to us today? For these babies, I would. Oh, Granny Pumpkin, thank you so much. I love helping my little darlings. Now you skedaddle. Yes, yes, woohoo! We got a new phone. We can order baby get well drops now. I just gotta set this up. Okay, now I've just gotta figure out how to work this thing. There we go. And now that I've got the phone all set up, I need to call them. It's okay, Annabelle. It's working. Hello, my name is Renee and I'm calling to order some get well jobs for my baby born twins. Let me turn on speakerphone so you can hear them. Okay, now you can hear the conversation too. Well, madam, what are the baby's names? Yes, so these twins are Charles and Annabelle. Oh, Charles and Annabelle. Is this Charles needing another inhaler? Um. Well, uh, it's kind of a long story. Okay, so Charles is the one who's gotten inhalers in the past from you all. Oh, yes, ma'am. He has breathing problems, and he's gone through several of them. Oh! So, ma'am, I will get the drops sent right over to you, and if Charles has problems taking the drops, use his inhaler first and then try the drops again. Successful phone call. Now we just gotta wait for them to come. And you'll be hopefully feeling better soon, Annabelle. And little Charles, she said Charles has breathing problems. We'll have to see how that is going forward. We've experienced breathing problems with Kate and Clara before. We'll be able to help you, I'm sure. But we've never had to use an inhaler. Oh, that's the doorbell. Oh, well here they are. These always help my babies feel better. Let's go give them to the babies. Well, babies, are you ready for your drops? So I always give them a whole dropper. Good job, Annabelle. She took that whole thing. I'm so proud of you. Good job. It's Mr. Charles' turn. Hey, Charles, can I take your passy? 
Oh, you don't want to get it at all, do you? Come on, we'll have our drops and you can have it back. Oh, that reminds me. I can give Annabelle hers back. There you go, you did such a good job. Charles, you'll be done in just a minute, just like Annabelle. Okay, here are our drops. Oh, he's not wanting them. Is it hard for you to breathe, Charles? Should we try your inhaler? Okay, so here it is. I'm just a little bit nervous, so I've never done an inhaler. Have you all ever used an inhaler? Maybe Charles will be used to it, and he'll know what to do. So the first thing you do is take the lid off, I think, and then I think you press down on this. Here, Charles. Oh, I think he is breathing better. Now let's try the drops quickly while he has good oxygen. Okay, we've got to do this quickly. Here, Charles. Here's you have to take the full dropper. Come on, little guy. Oh, good job, big boy. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Oh, good. Oh, little Charles, are you excited about your first egg hunt? You will just love it. It's so much fun. And so will you, Annabelle. Just don't want you all to get sunburned. There, that hat fits you perfectly. So yes, I couldn't be more excited either. Just getting out and having fun. I think they'll love it. However, I'm just a little bit nervous about this too. And that's because obviously this egg hunt is gonna be outside and little Charles has very bad asthma and being outside really aggravates his allergies. Are you gonna be okay, Charles? Oh. It's you! It's you! Oh dear. It's you! It's you! Are you having a sneezing it's attack? It's you! Let me get a tissue for your nose. I gotta get a tissue for little Charles. Uh, is that better? It's oh my you! goodness, it's he's you! still sneezing. It's you! It's you! Charles! Well, I definitely need to remember to pack his inhaler in the baby bag then. Let's do that before we forget. <laughs> Okay, so in the baby bag, I'm gonna just put lots and lots of tissues in case he starts wheezing and sneezing more and, you know, just eating tissues. And of course, we cannot forget his inhaler. We'll drop that right in the baby bag and I think that's all ready. Hi, Annabelle. So we are just loving our foster babies and are so excited to do so many fun things with them. It's <gasps> goodness, Charles. He's just sneezing. Oh dear. Why is he sneezing so much? I'm concerned his asthma and allergies are flaring up. This isn't good. Charles. It's okay, big guy. Why is he sneezing so much? See, he's such a happy guy. Okay, but we just need to be careful. I'm not sure what all these sneezes mean. I don't think he's in danger, but I just need to be very alert to this. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I've just been rocking him, reading some stories, trying to get him to settle down, but he's still... Oh, bless you, Charles. But he's still sneezing and it seems like he's starting to wheeze. So I think we're going to have to go use the inhaler. I really always hate to do this. There you go, Charles. You feel better, Charles? I do think that helped him. I just love how he's so calm even when he's not breathing well, but it's scary too. And this concerns me that he's had such a bad allergy flare up this morning. The morning we were thinking of going out and doing a spring egg hunt. There are just so many wildflowers out there, so much pollen, it just could get out of hand. We just don't want that to happen, Charles. We don't want this asthma to get out of control and have to go in for breathing treatment or something. Maybe we should just cancel the whole thing. But I just hate to. This is the poor little foster twin's first spring egg hunt. I just want to give the foster twin something special to do and to remember. Oh, I know. I have a great idea. I still could take Annabelle and just leave Charles with the babysitter. That way you wouldn't have to miss it, Annabelle. She gratefully doesn't have any allergies or asthma and she could still enjoy it. And it would just be a special time together. And hopefully Charles would have fun too with the babysitter. And I think I know who the perfect babysitter would be. Oh my goodness, I've lost a little too. Oh my stars, I just 
lost the pearly white. That's okay. Well, it's so nice to get back after a long day at the stop. Well, let's go check on the possibility. I hope she answers. Oh, I think that's her. Let's go on in, Charles. Well, come on in. Oh, hi, Brandy Pumpkin. How are you? Doing it just fine, darling. Oh, that's great, Granny Pumpkin. Something looks a little different about Granny Pumpkin. Granny Pumpkin, I can't put my finger on it, but something looks different about you. Hmm. Well, darling, I just lost the dollar tooth. Oh, that's what it is. Well, you look as cute as ever, Granny Pumpkin. Well, thanks, darling. Well, what brings you, Mr. Tollers? Well, Granny Pumpkin, you see, I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh! Yes, you see, Granny Pumpkin, little Charles has had an asthma attack this morning. And as you know, today is the Babyville Spring Egg Hunt. And I really wanted to take both twins, but I just can't do that with him having troubles breathing. Well, you just don't worry about a thing, darling. Happy here, Tollers. Oh, thank you, Granny Pumpkin. This means so much. I just know that Annabelle will love to go. Maybe he can go next year. Well, Tollers, we're gonna have a mighty good time. Now you skedaddle. Oh, thank you, Granny Pumpkin. Well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Tollers. Oh, Tollers, don't cry. It will be okay. I should leave him, he's crying. Oh, Granny Pumpkin, I'm, I'm wondering what I should do. I don't like babies crying. I know, Granny Pumpkin, I don't either. But what should we do? I think just because he came so recently to us in foster care, he's probably particularly attached to me and just wants to be by me. Hmm. Come here, Charles. It's okay, don't cry, little boy. I just don't like to see him cry. You know, he's not sneezing as much now. I wonder if I could just take him to the egg hunt if I'm really careful with him. Maybe his allergy flare-up is, is not as bad right now. So darling, I'll be mighty careful. You don't want asthma to get out of control. You're right, Granny Pumpkin. We'll be super careful. Well, thanks so much for being willing, Granny Pumpkin. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. Okay! Oh, oh, oh! What, Granny Pumpkin? When you come back here, I think I ha might have something in this bag might be good for you. Hmm? What's in there, Granny Pumpkin? Gloves? That's what I'm not looking for. Uh, what is this, Granny Pumpkin? Oh, it's just a hammer. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Uh, what's that? Well, Dalton, you never know when you need a shoe cover. But nope, that's not what I'm looking for today. Oh, here it is. What is that? I think that's told to use this mask. We don't want to be him allergens. Here, I'll put it, it on him. Well, Granny Pumpkin, that's probably actually a really good idea. So is. We want you to be well, towels. See, that will really help him be able to breathe better. Oh, Charles. That is probably a good idea. Then he won't breathe in the allergens, but he can still breathe in air. Well, the egg hunt is probably going to start soon. <laughs> yep, that's true. We better get going. Now you skedaddle. That's right, Granny Pumpkin. Bye. We need to get there before Mayor Do-Good starts the egg hunt. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for attending this 21st annual Spring Egg Hunt in Baby Bear. Yay! I know you're ready to start. Are you ready, Charles and Annabelle? It's almost time to start. So, without any further ado, on your marks, get set, go! Yes, here we go. Here, Charles, here's one for your basket. 
you all found your first eggs. Charles, how are you doing? How are you breathing? It seems like he's, he's breathing pretty well. Look at his bright eyes. Should we go find some more eggs? Let's go. Here's some more babies. Good job, Charles. I think he's getting the idea. Is that mine? That's <laughs> Let's put it in your basket. Good job, big girl. Oh my goodness. Look what he's so excited about. He found a golden egg. Wow, Charles. I'm so proud of Charles finding that golden egg. Oh, Annabelle. Oh my goodness. Look what she found. She found a kinder egg. Annabelle, good job. Annabelle, what's the matter? Annabelle, Annabelle. What's the matter with her? She seems like she's not breathing well. Annabelle, Annabelle. Are you okay? Oh, bless you, Annabelle. Bless you. Are you okay? Annabelle, are you okay? Are you okay? I think she's having breathing problems. Annabelle, Annabelle, what should I do? I know, I have Charles and Haler. I think, I, I'm sure I packed it for Charles. I, I wonder if it'll work for Annabelle. <gasps> Here it is. I must give it a try. And now we just have to wait a couple minutes to see if it will take into effect. I sure hope so. It's okay, Annabelle. It's okay. Hey, this is Kelly. I heard about Annabelle. Is she okay? Can I help? She's not breathing well at all. I'm not sure. I've never seen her have breathing problems before. That's Charles' problem. Annabelle, Annabelle, are you okay? I'm wondering if we should call the baby doll emergency line. But I don't have my cell phone with me. I have my phone that you can use. Oh, thank you. I think I'll give her another minute or two to see if she perks up before I do call. But thank you so much, Mayor Do-Good. You're welcome. Now it's just a waiting game to see if Charles and Haler will help her or not. Everyone, please stop gathering your eggs. <gasps> What's the matter? Let's all stop and pray for little Annabelle. One. I was almost ready to take her into the emergency room. You gave us quite the scare, Annabelle. Well, next egg hunt, you'll be wearing a mask too. And if you would like a little bit more background on some of the breathing problems with these twins, I created this playlist just for you.